Will, stay where you are. No. Just stay put. No. Will, I'll be right back. Come on. It's getting ugly. What the hell was that? It's all out in our sleep. You tell me. What's going on here? It seems Tashi caught Mr. Sneaky Mechanic here trying to steal some of our hardware. One of my best sellers. Gonna shoot a weapons dealer with his own gun? You can see how the irony is lost on me. It was for protection, all right? You, you don't think I see that you're all packing weapons? I'm just trying to level the playing field here, people. It's not even loaded. Silvio, let him go. <laughs> Mr. Braun, these cases are our property, and I'll thank you to remember that even under these trying circumstances. And the weapons we carry are for everyone's protection. Then give me a gun. That is definitely not happening. So I'm supposed to sit here and let one of you kill me in my sleep? No, I don't think so. I'm not going down without a fight. Someone shut him up. Or I could start with you. Everyone, get some sleep. Abdominal laceration, and he had to have been killed here. There'd be a mess if he were moved afterward. There are no other injuries of any kind, no defensive wounds. No, nope. it's like he just let somebody stab him. What is wrong with you people? We know who killed him in Kong. Look, 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 hey, hey, look, wait, look, hey, look, look, look. Just... Mr. Braun. Calm down. He did it, and I can prove it. Really? Yeah. How? Around his neck, look. Tranqui pango chetakma. I've, I've seen other Sherpas with that, the ones that believe that the Eddie is some kind of god. The Order of Pangboche. A group of Tibetan mystics who worship the creature as a protector of the mountains. So, now we know who let the damn thing loose in the first place. What more reason would he need to kill us all? We tried to steal his people's damn sacred cow. <laughs> He says the medallion was a gift from his cousin, that he doesn't worship the creature. And why would he help to capture something only to free it again? Re revenge. To teach us a lesson so we don't try and, and hunt it again. Hold on, hold on. Now, now Tashi claims that he's not part of this Pangbachi order, correct? And I'm sorry, but having a medallion is hardly proof of intent to kill. Will's right. We can't condemn a man because of his beliefs. Leave him alone. <laughs> I get it. Ron. No, I get it. 
You had a Sherpa boy kill Strickland, and, and then you, you had a murder a weapons guy. Why? Because you owed him money. So you take me out, and there you go. No more witnesses to your little massacre. Wow. You're being completely irrational. There are still far too many unanswered questions. Oh, no, no. They will not go quietly. Oh, no. Go ahead and try. But I'll fight you. Jeez, you're nuts. Let's see. I'll go keep an eye on him. Take Tashi with you. going on here? Why would somebody go on a killing spree in a stranded plane? They wouldn't. Come here. I need to ask you something. And it may sound strange. Oh, believe me, I'm getting very used to strange. Have you had any dreams? Hallucinations? Incredibly vivid, too real to ignore. People who couldn't possibly be there. And yet you can feel their presence, yes. It's tricks of the mind. Post-traumatic stress, plus the elevation and exhaustion. I thought so too at first, but now I'm beginning to have my doubts. Why do you say that? Describe his wounds. Uh, deep cross-length laceration. Interesting. I see a diagonal laceration from palm to forearm. possible. None of us has to be right. Oh, we're both wrong. Something is affecting our minds, clouding our judgment. What do you mean, like mind control? There's nobody on this plane. Can... Creature. You think it's among us? And hiding in plain sight, using this telepathic power to conceal itself. What, by making itself invisible? Or by posing as one of us. It can make us see things that aren't even real. But why would it hang around? I mean, this is its terrain. Maybe it marked this as its hunting ground. It sees us as a threat. Abnormals aren't like humans. They don't play by the same rules that we understand. But clearly, it's having an effect on us. We can't trust anything that we see or hear or even feel. There's got to be some way of knowing who we can trust. Its natural habitat is subarctic temperatures, then it would have to have a pretty special physiology, right? Even for an abnormal. anything and we don't have any equipment we can't do a proper analysis on the contrary we have exactly what we need this creature thrives in high altitudes and extremely low temperatures we'd have to have some sort of protective protein or antibody in its blood otherwise it would never be able to survive the harsh conditions now normal blood will freeze in temperatures this low in minutes my thought is that the creatures won't how can one of us be it's just a theory Allison hopefully one we can rule out Should be enough time. I'm sorry. This situation is just. I'm, I'm trying to stay calm. You all are. And believe me, I've been in far worse situations than this. You have? Absolutely. There was a town of zombies in Uganda. And of course, I ran out of.